Welcome back, everyone. Financial advisor Kurt Pearson is joining us this morning. Yeah, Kurt, this, the last few months of, of the year really can add up. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. If you're not careful, you can spend a lot of money. Yeah, it really sneaks up on us, and all of a sudden our habits and our disciplines that we've exercised so well throughout the year can begin to fade mm -hmm. when these some of these emotional holidays begin to kick in. So the, the first idea for, for parents especially is to think about, okay, what kind of experience am I really wanting to plan for our family? Mm -hmm. And then begin to assign a budget to it. And I really like to see the kids get involved, especially if they're in those elementary years, where they begin to get a sense of, okay, things cost money. All this Halloween candy, you know, mm -hmm. it, it adds yeah. up. And, uh, and so it's really a good learning teaching experience as well. Yeah, so we're talking about <clears throat> potentially some large numbers when we're looking at the budget. Uh, how do most families go about managing that, handling it? Yeah, $9.1 billion this year is what they estimate will be spent on Halloween. So the, the first step, of course, course, which you've heard me talk about before, is to look back at what you did last year. How did things work out? How did you feel about uh, the expenditures? Mm -hmm. Make sure you're obviously paying cash and we aren't just using plastic for everything because the hangover <clears throat> after the excuse me, after the holiday yeah. is a bit tough. So you want to come back and take a look at what your pattern was and then map out a game plan and say, hey, this is our budget for the costumes, this is our budget for the decorations, this is our budget for uh, the candy that we're handing out. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, sometimes you can come out ahead mm -hmm. if the kids really do a good job of gathering up candy from the rest of the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're right. You're trying not to be a fun hater, but you have to be responsible in doing this and handling it right. Yeah, so I think if it's a learning experience, it becomes fun then for everyone because that is the reality. We do need to plan ahead for these celebrations. And sometimes they have so much emotion because we're trying to create just the most incredible experience for our kids. Well, when emotions get involved with money decisions, be careful. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, good advice as always. And if you have any questions you would like Kurt to answer, you can contact him anytime at Compass Financial Services. That's in West Des Moines. The number is 515-327-1020.